Automatic brake valve for the train cars to operate. Pull the handle this way to put the brakes on. Independent brake valve handle. Right now the brakes are applied to release it. You move the handle this way to apply and bring them this way. Right now it's closed, it's got a latch on it. Pull it back to make the engine go forward or backwards. Air brake gauges, the engineer uses these for, in conjunction with the brakes. Spit out up here so we know how fast we're going. Back pressure, steam pressure gauge, the engineer uses this to operate the engine properly. Whistle valve, which down this blows the whistle. Whistle rope for blowing the whistle manually if we don't want to use the air valve. Behind here is the bell valve. Pull it back, the air ringer will automatically swing the bell so the bell rings. Then we have one of our water glasses right here. This tells us the water level in the boiler. We have a, a, a valve on the bottom to, to uh, close it in case of something happens. Have a drain valve to it. And uh, then this is always to tell how much water is in the boiler. This is probably the most important gauge in the entire locomotive. This is a low water alarm. If for some reason the water gets lower than a prescribed level in the boiler, this whistle will automatically start to blow as an attention getter to the crew to get water in the boiler. As you come on over this way, you can more clearly see the, the tricox. This is a third way to test water level in the boiler. And we have little drain valves for making sure everything is open. Behind the water glass here on the engineer side, we have a water column. And what this does is uh, your, your tricocks and the water glass get their level from the column. This kind of acts as a uh, buffer so that the water level doesn't move too rapidly. Uh, it kind of calms everything down so you get a much more accurate reading of where the water level actually is. This is the reverse gear, so the gear shift. This is what sets the engine to go forwards or backwards, whichever direction we want to go. The stoker is controlled, has several controls. We have two valves here that actually run the stoker motor. This valve runs the stoker jets. The jets is what actually blows the coal into the fire. And these four, five valves here, there's five different sets of actual jets that actually blow it. The fireman can control the, each individual jet as well as all of them here. And then he has two different valves. One will run the stoker very fast. This one you can control the speed of the stoker very finely. As you're running the stoker, coal goes through an auger under the floor and then comes up just inside the firebox door. And it's blown out by the steam jet. These 
These are the cylinder, co cylinder drain cocks for the cylinders on the locomotive. Open and closes it, opens and closes the drain cock. These three handles here are used in conjunction with the injector. That's how we put water into the boiler from the tender into the boiler. Open the water to the injector first. Slowly pull up the steam valve. All the way up. Close the overflow back. Water gate, when we get ready to shut the water off, all you gotta do is shut the steam off. Above the engineer's head is the, in, is the headlight switch. Right now, both headlights are off. Flip it forward for the bright headlight for the front of the locomotive. Turn it the other way, we'll turn the headlight on on the rear of the locomotive. Coming farther back here along the roof, we have the radio for our two-way communication with the crew and for the, the railroad itself. Yeah, we're fine up here. Yeah, we're fine up here. Coming across the top here, first of all, we have a, a, another whistle way to blow the fireman can blow the whistle. We have feed pump, uh, steam to run the feed pump, steam to run the feed water suction heat, stoker, dynamo number two, the top of this water glass, the main turret valve, mechanical lubricator heat, dyno, dyno uh, or turbo generator number one. Cylinder cocks and the injector. And then over here we have another valve that closes the steam off to the top of this water glass. You'll notice all of the valve handles are different shaped. That is so in the dark, you can feel by feel, you know what you have a hold of. You don't have to actually read the plate, you can feel it. 